So, okay, so let's let's just do this. Let's get started. Nick, uh, we've been having about a 25-minute conversation about absolute bullshit just to get started here, which is kind of funny because we're talking about our lives, we're talking about others' lives, we're talking about people that we coach that we, we love dearly, and we're talking about what what um, what do we do in order to get traction and results in our life versus distractions in our life, right? And I mean, since you've been involved with the within the coaching industry, and I know that that my my world is kind of more on the chiropractic side of things, and your world is a little bit more on the the oil side of things. Um, it doesn't really matter because the the same rules apply. So. Mm-hmm. Based on what what your experience is, what are some of the things that that you utilize on a daily basis now, or daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly? What have you found the most effective just to keep your focus and gain traction versus be distracted? And trust me, maybe you can even give some of the things you've been distracted by. (laughs) Because like how many different distractions come up that, that take us off the course that we're really trying to get to. Uh, why, don't you, why don't you share what, you, what what's been effective for you? Uh, the, the, biggest, uh, the biggest thing that I found was definitely the stack. And then now the Patriot Missile game is the next level to that. And it's just being able to every day, just being able to what's going on between my ears and, and just focusing. So, and yeah. And it's that that would be the number one um, thing that's helped me um, to focus. But then it's the other tools that be able to gain traction, right? So, so being able like the general's tent and being able to focus. Like when I didn't do that work, like on a weekly basis, you know, I have these nice ninety-day targets. That's great, right? Do the work to find those out. But if I can't figure out why I want to do something during the week, I just don't do it and then fall off, fall off, fall off. And then, Oh, okay. But that's the beauty of the whole deal. And, and then, (laughs) but it all comes back to the Patriot missile game or the stack, right? Like every time I came back to, you know, well, why am I not happy? And why am I not doing what I said I was going to do? Let's 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 talk for a sec. Let's, let's talk for a sec about distractions. So you wake up in the morning. Let's see how many people can like raise their hand on this one. You wake up in the morning and you're feeling like crap because either you didn't exercise the day before or you've eaten like shit or you've had some drinks or whatever else and you're feeling a little crummy. So immediately the brain goes into some form of guilt, shame. So let's spend about an hour on that as we get up in the morning. We're barely putting our underwear on and getting coffee into us, but we're actually investing time and energy in that bullshit. Then of course our relationship isn't working. So uh, let's just get mad and let's figure out what types of things we can be resentful for about uh, about the other person as opposed to working on the, the types of things that we could improve upon. And then work, ah, yesterday was a shitty day, which is why I had so many drinks last night. And, uh, you know, the whatever is happening at work, the, the job is hard. There's too many people are bitching and complaining. And there's all this stuff that's going on, and that's another distraction. So you know what? I really just feel like getting out of my head. So... Let's go and sedate. Let's go and do all this kind of thing. Um, on top of that, I'm doing things in a workplace that really doesn't match my values. Um, it's not something I'm focused on long term. I don't have any mission or vision surrounding it. So literally, I go to work. It drains my tank. So in order to fill my tank back up, what I do, again, immediate gratification. Sex, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is to feed me back up. I, I even, Nick, you didn't even know this. I even got into a place where I did extensive long distance um triathlons and other things like that because that was my constructive way of distracting my brain and filling it filling my body full of endorphin um i figured it was a constructive way instead of adding the the positive neurochemicals in a destructive way if you will meanwhile i'm completely sedating away my time and avoiding my relationships and the things that i need to do within outside of body within being balanced in business. So distractions are constantly coming and going. The, the number of people that actually spend and invest time on this COVID thing and, and 
like all this, the, the, the stuff that's coming up now, as opposed to looking at what's going on, what are the actual facts, <clears throat> looking at what we need to do to realign ourselves, adapt to the process, and just focus on what's actually going on. I didn't understand any of this for years either, Nick. So the brain immediately go, and let's, let's talk about it. We can joke about this because you and I know each other, but the reality of it is, is that our Neanderthal, that small emotional center inside of our brain is either in fight or flight, or we're trying to get laid and paid. Basically is the way that our Neanderthal brain goes, okay? We just want that fulfillment. We want that excitement factor. We, need, we want that, that, that immediate fulfillment that goes on in there. So when we're talking about distraction, we're good at that, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Right? And then when you talk about traction, you, I think you said it really well. You, you named a couple of different tools that we use in the coaching program that we do here at Freedom Formula. But I think it really starts with getting up and doing the core four every day. It keeps traction going because instead of going out and trying to do a heavy lifting um, competition in a month, it's just keeping traction going so that your habits get you to a place where you want to go and are consistent with the direction that you want to go. And it's that one day that you take a step off the gas that you realize that you now give yourself permission to go back into the world of distraction. Same thing mm -hmm. with your relationships. You've learned that, I think, the hard way is as soon as you take the pedal off the relationship, it doesn't build strength. It weakens the foundation, right? So the core four, then oh, when, yeah. you're, when you're battling inside of here, having some sort of a tool, you, you can't, I don't think until you've been through like some of the darkest pits that you've ever been in, I don't think that most men, women even for that matter, are willing to look in between their ears or understand what types of questions, which is where the stack, the work, the overview, the Demartini, the quantum collapse process, the Patriot Missing Against, where all these processes come from. But just like exercise and fitness, your fitness is either improving or it's, it's losing. So if we're not working in between the ears or we don't know how to work on those things, then ultimately we go back into old patterns, habits, and behaviors, which take us back down the mountain. We don't get traction. We get distraction eventually. You also mentioned a really good one. You mentioned the general's tent, whatever that is to people that have never heard this, but the general's tent is just a series of, of, of questions and processes that we go through in order to organize our week to stay focused. I, how many times have you been to work, Nick, where you gone into work, you know what your basic job is. You got all your tasks and things to do. You sit down and instead of doing the thing that's going to get you the furthest, you pick like eight that are just basically fucking around. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? Yeah, no. Oh, thousand <laughs> right? percent, man. Thousand did, I just, did I just walk percent. you through like a week of like our lives until, until we hit this stuff? Um, and then having targets is one thing, but one of the things that really helped me with getting traction in life is there's a difference between a goal and a target. A goal is a dream, a wish, you know, Somebody's going to come along with a magic fairy wand and they're going to give me this goal that I have. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hope that it's going to come true as opposed to a target. We reverse engineer and we go get that. And the nice thing about having some level of accountability is that um, you have a little bit of pucker factor and a little bit of, I wouldn't say encouragement. I'd say a little bit of um, hot sauce behind your derriere that makes you actually go and do these things. <laughs> So, yeah, no, and so that's, you, that's you, definitely the funnest part. What do you find with, with the men that you're working with? What do you, where do you find um, most of them struggle the most with the traction with all these tools? It was, it's fighting the process to, oh, to look inside. So everything, when I say that, so like looking inside yourself, why you want the island that you want and fighting that process where a lot of us just live day by day. Um, and it's like, okay, I'm just going to get through today and we'll just deal with whatever tomorrow comes. Right. And it's, this is the way I always do it. This is the way I'm going to keep doing it. And it's getting them to look 
at why they want to go or where they even want to go in the in the future right and then reverse engineering and looking back but but just surrendering to the fact of oh like i can actually do that like i can actually is it <laughs> have easy a, is it design easy, my own Nick? future <laughs> is it easy to do the work to to dive into that no it's painful it's super painful yeah, and and but it's in business though at the end of it at the end of it the release <laughs> well and and again whether it's body being balanced or business those that have a plan and have done like invested time energy and money in a strategy and a plan to get where they want to go it becomes easier because then it's just executing on the plan those of us that are operating on a day-to-day -day basis without a plan, it's it, we stay in that immediate gratification area, and then what we want is we want the big home run. It becomes we keep looking like people buy lottery tickets, like people actually buy lottery tickets, right? Because they they just want it to land in their lap, as opposed to going and manifesting what it is that they want from the from the get go. Like as soon as you have money, apparently. Like, then you're going to go be happy and do the things that you actually enjoy doing that are aligned with your values and your mission. And apparently that happens yep. too. <laughs> right? Like, it, it boggles my mind that we live in that state of immediate gratification. But it's it, like, I was there too. I was there too. Yep. And every, every quarter when, when you and I and the other coaches, when we, when we, Get our get our groups to kind of dive deep and, and actually at, at answer the questions that begins the traction process and the freedom formula. Freedom freedom doesn't come for free. Freedom comes with work, right? When we do that process, um, it takes time. And there's times where I've spent like three hours doing it. My next three months suck. There's times where I've spent a day. It's better. When I spend two to three days, I'm on fire. But it's so hard to teach people that you don't become an NFL linebacker because you look like an Adonis. You become an NFL linebacker because you have, you have focused your attention on being the fittest, the most sharp, the most, not just the most fit, but the most intelligent person that's possible to be out on the field of play. You don't you don't sit there and like sedate on the weekend because you're 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 off target. You are on target. It is you are focused. You're you're moving in a in a in a direction. And I think that uh, I think that that you're right. The the hardest part is just to get guys that aren't getting traction. They want to be somewhere. They they sometimes need to hit the darkest pit. Um, I, you know, it, it really, that is the reality. I think that most men are not willing to dive into a game like you and I play until they hit the shit storm. Mm -hmm. that's, one of the, I, that's one of the realizations that I've met. We now have people that are starting to and willing to step into the game. But um, it, I, I agree with you, Nick. Getting people that are, are, are willing to invest in between their ears as opposed to the things that immediately gratify them. It's hard to get that traction going, isn't it? When you, when you don't oh, yeah. No, yeah, it's just fighting the fact that it's, it's yeah, again, it's back to surrender of the fact that what's, because their ego kicks in, right? And it's something we haven't touched on on this before, but yeah, it, don't want to surrender the fact that maybe what's going on and what the way that you're acting and your the decisions you've made haven't worked out the best. <laughs> it's really hard to come to that point until there's actually like a gun to your head and and I say that and the wife saying yeah we're I'm done I'm done and that's why I'm so passionate about doing this and and coming along and following you in this process is because I I don't want that for anybody else. Like, let's deal with that before it gets to that point, because by then you're just, yeah, now you really have to dig deep. <laughs> That's it, man. I so, mean, if the patterns, the habits, and the behaviors are getting you the results that you want in life, bravo, bravo. 
But if they're not, I want you to consider what Nick just said. You have to examine the patterns, the habits, and the behaviors because you're getting traction. You're getting traction in the results that you currently have. And if you don't love those, or if you're not content with those and you want more, then you have to examine them and you have to look deeply. Yeah, yep. Nick, any other observations or thoughts around uh, getting traction aligned with the direction that you wanna go? You said, I think you said something interesting uh, earlier. You said, oftentimes, um, until men are men and women in this case are willing to step in and do the deep dive um, and actually see their vision, see their values, see it with clarity and do it on a regular enough basis. Sometimes what happens is uh, it, like you, you think that you've got traction again and then we drift, we just kind of slide <laughs> off again back to the, and we think that once we get something, it's like, okay, now I can go back to my old patterns. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you just can't. And, and like, and like you said, unless, unless you figure that you have it all figured out and you have evidence to back that up, boom, have at her and you don't need any of this. And I applaud you and I'd like to talk to you one day, <laughs> but the reality is a lot of us and be, it's because we're human and it's not that we're broken. It's just, we're human. And we just, that little extra push, I said it on my podcast a couple of weeks ago, like, listen, like we have a, we've had a coach ever since we were little, right? Someone to teach you how to hit that ball. Someone to teach you how to catch it. Someone how to, how to do everything on the field. But then we get to be an adult and then boom, you're off on your own. And now this big scary place is all yours. Here's your playground, have at her and figure it out on your own. And it's not saying that it's wrong, but it's, listen, <laughs> some of us need that push of just, Listen, look at this a different way and then see what might happen. That's yeah. the cool part. That's it, man. Well, listen, thanks for being on again today, Coach. Have a wonderful day down in L-Town. I'm jealous. I'd love to be down there. Um, I hope, uh, I hope uh, you get your two wheels home safely. Please drive safely. And uh, we'll, do. We'll, we'll chat with you soon, man. Be safe, okay? Yep. Peace. Bye for now, man. Thank you.